Today we see lots of people are making a suffering from things that they think they own. Be it the money, house or the loved ones. The very idea of being possessive towards something is very painful. So how do we overcome possessiveness? Let's see Sadhguru's wisdom on overcoming possessiveness. Don't try to overcome possessiveness. Just possess something absolutely and see. Once you know the pain of being possessed and trying to possess something, once you know the pain of that, the pain will heal you of possessiveness. you trying to overcome possessiveness is not going to work because you already tried, isn't it? Obviously you've tried, you failed and that's why you're asking me. <laughs> Possess absolutely. Whether it's your husband or your child or your… even your home or even your dog, try hard to possess it totally you will see it will bring unbearable pain to you. When it brings that kind of pain, it will cure you. So, why is it that you want to possess? You know, in India or anywhere in the world, if you say somebody is possessed, what it means? The one who is possessed is a victim, but one who possesses, you know who he is? You are just that. When you try to possess, you will become a devil. No, 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 I love very much But yes, with good intentions you will become a devil. That is the problem about possessiveness, very good intentions. And how do you know devil has no good intentions for you? Who knows? How do you know God has good intentions for you? Only the… only the propaganda says so, but you don't know for sure, isn't it? If all this is God's making, all that's happening in your life, you don't really know whether He has good intentions for you or not anymore, isn't it? <laughs> you know for sure? You know for sure? You don't know. And you don't know whether devil has bad intentions for you. You don't know. But, one who is… one who possesses is usually a devil. So with good intentions, when we said somebody is a devil, we did not question his intention. We only are talking about the result of his action, isn't it? Yes? We are not questioning his intention. We, a devil of a wind. Maybe the wind is blowing with good intention, but because it's devastating your home, you call it the devil because of the result, isn't it? So if the result that you are bringing about is painful, you are the devil. Your intentions may be good. But the result is painful for somebody around you, then you're a devil. So if you manage to possess, you must be a devil. And uh, these victims who are possessed, 
by something else they can cause hell of a lot of problem to everybody around them have you seen them <laughs> so if i tell you don't possess you are not going to stop anyway because this is a very deep rooted problem this is not going to go away because of somebody's advice please don't possess anybody it's not going to go away you may shift your objects of possession from this to that but the longing or the need to possess is not gone you may shift your object of possessing from this to that because you're wanting to possess something is essentially coming from a certain sense of unfulfilled experience of life a certain sense of being incomplete all you are trying to do is fulfill yourself i want you to understand you are not trying to be rich you are not trying to be ambitious you are not trying to be possessive the answer is same for greed for anger for hatred you are not trying to be all this all you are trying to do is somehow find fulfillment either by embracing this person or by killing this person or by taking what he has or by taking him somehow you want to fulfill yourself because you are unable to bear the incompleteness of who you are try hard It'll not get you anywhere so all i'm telling you is you try everything you try greed you try possessiveness you try love you try lust you try what you want if you realize it's not getting you anywhere you must be sensible enough to shift if something is not working and you're going on this doing the same thing then you are an idiot beyond redemption isn't it hmm? i don't listen to my advice try something if it works go on that path if it doesn't work leave the nonsense and try something else isn't it and you will see none of these things will work all of them will create a sense of as if it's going to work but they'll deceive you later <laughs> try hard and see don't try it in a lukewarm way try absolutely if you try absolutely within 24 hours you will know if you try off and on in lukewarm ways it will take a lifetime to know then if there are 24 qualities you need 24 lifetimes to realize this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work if you try really hard within 24 hours you will know it doesn't work whatever it is your problem go all the way into it you'll see within 24 hours this is no good it will never work it will be 100% clear to you once it's clear to you i trust your intelligence the only thing that i trust is intelligence because life is intelligence the tree is blossoming it is a certain intelligence the very earth that you walk upon is intelligent the air that you breathe is intelligent one way of looking at life is life is just an explosion of intelligence what you call as creation and what you refer to as the creator is the ultimate intelligence isn't it that's the only thing you can trust right now and that will function only if you go all the way if you go like this it will give you a false sense of comfort and solace you can carry on with the stupid things for a whole lifetime you know it doesn't work but 
It's not intense enough. So give yourself absolutely to whatever nonsense you're doing. Very soon, within a day, you will know it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If you realize it doesn't work, I believe you will shift. Am I wrong? Can I believe that you will shift? Something doesn't work and you're sure it doesn't work, you will shift. Fulfillment, completeness is not going to happen by getting this or getting that. It will only happen when this piece of life is alive to its core that the very source of creation in this you have divined. Only when you have touched that, then you find everything is fine. Now you can play life like a football game. You're on when it's on, when you want to switch it off, it's off. Then nothing is a problem. So the question is, why does possessiveness towards a person or an object brings pain? The sense of incompleteness or the sense of unfulfilled life is the reason behind you being possessive about anything. Possess something fully, give it a go, you will know it's not going to take you anywhere. The pain that you get from possessing is enough for you to realize that possessing something is not going to take you anywhere. Try hard and see it will not work. By possessing something, you will never achieve fulfillment or completeness. Try it and see. Completeness will only come when you have touched the very source of creation within you.